Arcadiana is Ali Bear. <laughs> It is 8.08, and it is also another national day. It's been a big week of fun national days. It continues today, National IPA Day, which Al Bear has been explaining all morning long from Adopted Dog Brewing, such a cool place. Uh, he's teaching us a lot. I think he's learning a lot, and he even wants to host a News 15 dog party there, which I think is a fabulous idea. Al Bear, how's it going? Hey, we are back. We're at Adopted Dog Brewing. We have Ryan Paco. Ryan, we're in the midst of it. Tell us what we're doing here, bud. We're in the kitchen. Like, we're a brewery, and we want to be a brewery first. We do have food, and really right. good food. Um, you know, one thing you got to start with is, is a good burger, and, and our smash burger, I feel pretty good. I put up against most people. So Jim is, is our KM and chef here. Jim, give us a quick rundown of why our smash burger is special. Uh, our smash burger is so great because you gotta put those onions on the grill. You gotta smash the burger into the onions so those sugars release from the onions into the burger. And then we season ours with salt, pepper, and garlic. Most people do just salt and pepper, but I think that garlic really kicks it over wow, the that's, side. That's out. interesting. I've never seen that before. And we talked earlier that pretzel bun matters. You know, pretzels and breweries are synonymous. Yeah. So it took a long time to find a pretzel bun that had a good consistency, held the burger, actually cleaned it up behind us. Mm. Oh, wow. That's a good looking yeah. burger. That looks really good. That's, in That's the, our curds coming up. Oh. Now, you've got cheese curds. And that was the timer going off, so i got a lot going on here, Al. But, so we got three varieties that I'm sure we can show, and we'll get those played up for the next segment. But there's a garlic, a regular, and a sriracha. And then all three of those have three different dipping sauces, so you can mix and match, and you're never going to find the right combination. So I've been in the Midwest, and cheese curds in the Midwest is like cracklings down here. Very much. So. How'd you get cheese curds in South Louisiana? Again, it's a beer thing. If you go up to Wisconsin where curds are like the thing, or Minnesota, whatever, like, they're synonymous with beer. So I said, we're going to spend the time to do a brewery right on the beer side, like you saw with James earlier. Yeah. We need to get the food right that's going to pair with beer. And so we, we may have to find the best of. Yeah. I don't think I've run across cheese curds. Well, you're about to get some. Here. That's pretty interesting. We'd write our, we'd write our paper. So, like, I mean, uh, man, it's just, I mean, you were mentioning earlier, there's like a cheese curd trail somewhere up in, right. in the Midwest. It's kind of like our boudin trail. Yeah, yeah. So if you hadn't had cheese curds, you know, this is just completely different. It's it's so out of the box. I love what you guys do here. And of course, do, we, do want to remind you, you can bring your dog, there's a menu for dogs. There it is. I really like that so much. Hey, you know what? We are gonna go back to you guys in the studio. We're at Adopted Dog Brewing. It's IPA day. I can't believe you've never had cheese curds. Wow, I didn't know that those were not a thing here. Hmm. Must be Midwest Ohio, I don't know. Alrighty, Al Abier, we'll see you in a bit for more. Thank you.